How do you do? Being an ex-employee of Apple, do you really need the iPhone 13? I have the 11 Pro, okay? The 11 Pro. Now, 12 came out, it was different. I don't like the square. I'm more of a round kind of guy. The square is just, I don't know, I don't like it. Like, it's just not a preference. So that's the reason I didn't get it. And then why the charging is cool, like I get it. And then 13 came out and, and, and it's kind of kind of the same, but different. But the same, but different. <laughs> but the same, but different. <laughs> that's literally how the 12 and the 13 are. Like legit, cause like I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it. The 12, I understand. Uh, I would buy the 13 if like, you know, I was like, on a 10 you know or or like an 8 or something then I want to jump to the 13 that's I get that's a big jump you know for, for me being at an 11 pro I don't see the difference in why I should go spend $1,300 or whatever it is a hundred thousand dollars plus tax comes to like $1,300 so for me it's either form over function or function over form you know if I can have both it's it's a win-win and right now the, uh, the iPhone 13 I don't see the reason what's the reason I don't see it and even though I'm an ex-employee I, I know a lot about the company but everything changes there you know it's constantly growing that's what makes Apple unique and they're very innovating sometimes now one thing that I will buy that I've been keeping an eye out for that I've been waiting for is the new MacBook I'm hoping to god it's a 14 inch um because I went from a 15 inch and then that thing was it was it was a pretty good laptop but it had its problems and then I went to the 16 inch and that thing is a fucking war horse I, I have it here actually 16 inch 16 fucking inches now there's nothing wrong with 16 right but the problem with it is like it's it's the size of my chest like i'm more of like a 22 inch fucking chest guy if that's a thing but like this thing is so massive like you see how much like it's bigger than my fucking head like i i i don't want to carry this thing this massive fucking titanic to my class like i love this i love that i can see everything trust me i need it i can't see shit out as is and it helped, but I don't, I can't see myself taking this to my university. The desk space is already kind of small. There's a lot of, there's a very little amount of space and it's just so massive. And I remember being in class and everybody had like a little 15 inch or an iPad or something like that. And I took out this big behemoth and everyone was kind of looking at me. I didn't give a fuck. But the thing is, at the end of the day, it did make a difference because I have to carry this massive laptop. Now, I'm hoping to God by tw by, the, by December 2021, Apple does release the a new MacBook because it's not just the sizing that I'm looking for, it's the specs. I don't know if you know this, this is more a review on shit I know, I guess. If, if you know or don't know, I'm gonna tell you. The new MacBook, they have it, one with that has an Intel chip and one that has the M1 chip. Everyone's hoping to fucking God they, ha they make an M2 because the M1 was amazing and it's fast and whatnot. And there's a lot of difference, differences in, in, um, in speed and performance now that excites me because i'm the kind of guy that doesn't want to wait for something to fucking render i will buy the expensive more hard drive or ssd to make things work more efficiently for me i don't want to sit there waiting for it to render and majority is because of the C cpu usage it can't handle it it handles it as best as it can and then if you have like a fast hard drive with the but the cpu can't handle the speed of the ssd like it's just it's redundant it doesn't go where you want to go it's important to like notice those little things you know and i saw how how much you can open so many programs so many windows and i have a lot of windows open and i don't give a shit people make fun of whatever like having so many windows open you know what the reason why i have so many windows open is because i have a lot of shit going on and there's things that i want to see or read articles on that I don't want to lose. And I've lost them many, many times. So I'm just like, man, stack, stack, stack. And it's like a big ass 16, 20 page thing. But I do get to it eventually. But the memory gets just being smoked because like it can't keep up. Now I'm excited for the new one because they're only going to go up. They're not going to stay at the one. So if they go to two or even uh, M3, oh my fucking God. When it comes to video editing, when it comes to performance, when it comes to transferring files and all these things that I always do on my Mac, I can't fucking wait. And I'm hoping to God they shrink it to a 14 inch. Cause the 15, I already had it and it was kind of big too. The 14 would be better for mobility because it's not a 13 inch. 13 inch, I had it, it's too small for me. I'm a six foot dude and big fucking hands. It's not gonna happen. I need something a little bit to hang on to, you know? <laughs> so I just want to let you guys know my two cents on these two things. So at iPhone 13, eh, I'll wait for the 14 if there's a 14. And uh, for the MacBook, I'm hoping to God this year, it's going to be this year because I don't want to wait another year, February or March or whatever. God damn it, I'm tired of this Mac. I want a new one already. It's time to move on. Plus the warranty is going to end on this fucker on 
on November. It's like another month from now. So it's going to end pretty soon. So I, I got to move on from it. Hope you enjoy my little review on shit on Apple. Later.